Gentleman is recognized. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in support of H.R. 7535, the Quantum Computing Cybersecurity Act, a truly bipartisan piece of legislation. I want to thank Congressman Ro Khanna from California uh, for his leadership in this, and Congressman Connolly, Congresswoman Maloney, for working together across the aisle on an issue like this. I could never imagine 20 years ago when, or even further than that, 40 years ago, 35 years ago, playing with an Apple IIe in the 80s, fast forward to college as a cadet at the Citadel, learning and teaching myself how to code and seeing the leaps and bounds in technology, the advances that we've had over the last two or three decades in technology, and seeing the risks to our national security here and abroad, and working together in this environment today where many of us are attacked for working together, um, but looking forward and looking to the future and protecting our country. Um, and protecting our allies. And quantum computing is without a doubt the next frontier in technology. It'll take our civilization forward in leaps and bounds, and in many ways it will turn conventional understanding of computing on its head. And I'm here to tell you the quantum computing era is upon us. And just three years ago, an entry-level quantum computer the size of a refrigerator was proven capable of outperforming a supercomputer the size of a football field. Imagine the advances in technology in that short a period of time and how quickly we're moving forward in the future. And if we're looking at a world not unlike the few, last few days of the Manhattan Project, knowing what is to come will alter the security of the world forever. But fortunately, as with the development of the atomic Bomb. America is at the forefront of pioneering this kind of technology with no doubt from leadership from Congressman Khanna and others. But we must inevitably face the reality that one day soon this technology may in fact be used against us by China and others uh, that are against us today. And the most significant threat of quantum computing is its ability to break through encryption with unprecedented speed. And currently our sensitive data is usually encrypted and protected with a password. It might take a conventional computer years or even decades to try to break that password and eventually steal your data. But in the next few years or decades, a computer will be created which will crack the last 20 years of encryption, not in years, not in, mo in months, but in minutes and in seconds. So to prevent any illicit use of this technology, we want to, pre to ensure that we're transitioning to a post-quantum cryptography uh, future to ensure federal agencies that their sensitive information remains secure from any prying eyes. And we know that in 2020, we had 11 federal agencies that were hacked by, by those that aligned with China and with Russia, 11 federal agencies. And so our bill prompts the federal government to begin taking the necessary steps to future-proof current sensitive information and its databases. It will ensure the federal government will study the specific risks, draft a report on strategies to address these risks, and estimate the costs associated with securing our agencies and their IT systems. Again, I want to thank my colleagues across the aisle for your work and your leadership on this issue. Thank you, and I yield back.